YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back in the Macedon campaign. This is not exactly contiguous from where we left off last time, because my computer crashed at the very end of what was going to be episode 43. Um, and I'm going to be replaying some of it here, uh, but I'm not going to go completely back to the last save, because there was nothing really all that important. Here we are defending our army that was kind of behind enemy lines against um, a Bowie I force that's going to be attacking me. They do have some... Um, artillery and stuff, so let's uh, just kind of mix my Royal Peltist in here. And let's put these Thurio Spears here to help protect these guys as well. And I've got some really nice cavalry here, which Aspis Companions and others. Some reason why you didn't join in there. Okay. I'm going to take these guys, hard group them to where it's easier, and the reason my cavalry up front is because there should be some enemy ballista, and I'm going to just charge them and destroy them, and I should have enemy reinforcements coming from multiple sides, so we will need to keep an eye on things. Which I actually successfully did in the episode that you didn't get to see, but I'm sure you won't believe me because I've never done it where you can actually see it. Just going to flat out charge these enemy troops here. Dad gummit! Actually hit my companion cav. Freaking rat turds. Killed quite a few of them too, and they're gonna get another good volley off here. Nope, it wasn't good, thank goodness. And I should be too close for them to fire here pretty quickly. This next shot could potentially be accurate. Nope, they're going to change targets. Okay, so I'm just going to charge in here into the enemy units. They were up in a shield wall. So I'm going to actually pull out of that relatively quick. We've silenced their ballista. Oh, yep, here comes an enemy light cav. So we'll just destroy that light cav that's coming after me. And let's get back in here. Let's rear charge those naked warriors. And then the enemy oath sworn, we need to get away from it for a moment and start cycle charging it. So the enemy naked warriors are gonna die there. And the enemy light cav's gonna die as well. Let's go ahead and get ready to line up against these forces. Those naked swords did not die somehow from a rear charge from heavy shot cavalry. I can't say that exactly makes sense. Going to get a nice rear charge with my Aspis Cab into those Oath Sworn. They may have gotten turned around in time. So a second cycle charge ought to be more than enough to destroy anything that's left of these guys. Let's pull away from the Bowie Eye here. Basically just get my defense all ready to go. Because we are going to be getting surrounded. The enemy Oath Sworn General... That's not headhunt, so my men should be relatively safe here. Yeah, the enemy of sworn general is getting destroyed, so we'll be in good shape there. Just get my spearman away. Uh, there's another ballista back there. Let's just move away from it for now. So... Pull these guys back through here. And let's get all my cavalry ready to come help destroy this force. General, as you come on. Like to get some nice counter charges here, so let's kind of keep an eye on which enemy units are actually going to attach uh, attack me. So now we've got them pretty well pinned down. Get over here quick. troops. Not sure what they're doing at this point. Yep, okay, so Aspis Companion Cav can tear those guys up. Start rear charging with Companion Cav. Yeah, so that'll pretty much destroy these guys very quickly. 
war cry out that Celtic warrior. And get my Aspis companion cab have destroyed those guys. And those units got destroyed by my Thurios. Time to counter charge here. And let's bring these units up on the flank. And the enemy has been utterly destroyed over here as well. So we're able to hold our flank. Let's get into the back of these units. Need to get those Agrionians away from that fight, actually. And let's replace with my Thorax Swords. Ooh, there's an enemy Oath Swarm. Let's try and avoid it and see if we can javelin the crap out of it. And we're going to need my cavalry over here with haste. That artillery fire is pretty dang annoying here. Let's throw some more Thorax Swords in here. And these Thurio Spears, I'm going to put them into square formation real quick. Let's get my cavalry out here. And we're going to start throwing javelins into the back of the enemy Oath Sworn. And that ought to get rid of it rather quickly. Let's reinforce there. Force there. Yep, the enemy Oath Sworn General is taking it pretty hard here. Javelin's in the rear, and the enemy artillery fire is honestly pretty minimal effect. Let's take these guys out. Take those guys out. You go ahead and go destroy the artillery, and you can destroy those units. The enemy general is okay, so the enemy Oathsworn has been dealt with. Let's just ignore those bowmen and turn around get those guys. The bowmen aren't going to be able to out-skirmish my Thurio Spear. So yeah, I'd say that was pretty successful, and I actually managed to keep an eye on all my flanks. That was impressive for me, at least. Probably not so impressive for what you all can do, but... I actually managed to not get ambushed by enemy forces reinforcing from somewhere else. It's freaking ballista are annoying. One of our units is All right. So we are back on track. I actually did win that battle pretty convincingly the last time I recorded it and managed to actually do a little bit better this time, I think. And those Aspis cab, 272 kills. That is pretty nice. Macedon's definitely got some nice cavalry in the campaign. It's going to make them a very formidable faction. So, in the other recording I was making, the Kimbri asked me for peace and to be a client state again. <laughs> we'll see if they follow any such uh, decision this time. Celtiberians. Art Han actually has a, a number of forces that were moving in on me. Yep, through the Middle East there. So they're going to be supporting Egypt, so we're going to have some big big land battles coming up soon, I think. And Axim is going to want me to work with them here. And the battle where it crashed was actually I sabotaged or backstabbed Axum at Memphis, and that's where the crash happened. So if I do so again, I'm probably going to auto-resolve it just to make sure <coughs> that, although I think it was kind of a freak crash, I want to make sure that it doesn't um, happen again. Golly, that stupid little bitty army there running away from me. That's so irritating. So the Cambri actually are going to attack me. And I cannot retreat. And it looks like they've poisoned me previous to the attack because many of my swordsmen are now dead that were alive before this. So as far as cavalry goes, I still got a lot of my guys. And this is annoying. They might end up actually killing this army. And see, last time they asked me for peace... Those Germanic scout riders are going to be an absolute nuisance. Can handle their spear levy, their Germanic tribesmen, club levy. That's sword masters, those two Woden as spears, wolf warriors, those are a little more frightening. Uh, but we're going to have to do our best to just go ahead and win this. Stupid 
Cambry. If they ask me for peace this time, the answer is no. I'm going to destroy them for not uh, following through on what they did last time. So I've got quite a few Thorax swords. It's it's definitely a good number. I'm going to just kind of keep my Royal Pelthus in the back so that they can't get charged. And I'm thinking about putting my swordsman all on shield wall. And then I'm just going to support with... Uh, Agrianians on the flanks to try and kill the Germanic scout riders, which will no doubt be making their annoying presence known. And I'll put my Thurios. Actually, let's put one on this flank. Um, my more damaged cavalry units, I'm going to try and run in reserve. And then the stronger ones I'll leave out to come try and do some rear charges and get rid of enemy skirmishers. So let's go ahead and fast forward. I'm going to let the enemy come to me. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Fight defensively. There's probably not a whole lot of sense in countercharging uh, Germanic troops. They're going to do very well, though I may need to charge out with my companion cav to stop the charge of these sword masters and Wodenaz, and then I could maybe counter punch them with Royal Peltus. In fact, that's what I should do. And then I can try and get some jab ones into the mix as well. Okay. Let's actually go ahead and take all my Thorax swords out of this, so... We're going to need our little plan to get set in motion here. This is going to be a little bit risky for my cavalry because they're going to come under fire from these Germanic youths. But it's the only way I can kind of interrupt the charge of those elite units and make sure that my men end up succeeding. Let's go ahead and get these units to the flanks so that we can get after enemy skirmishers as quickly as possible. As far as the Germanic the scout riders, I'm going to have to click attack orders on them with my Agrionians. It's going to be my best bet for bringing them down and my Thurio Spears. And we should be able to succeed in doing it. Let's go ahead and go into slow motion for a minute. Keep those Aspis Cav away from the Germanic scout riders. Same thing here. And I'm going to go... not. Their general was a Woden S Spear, so I'm actually going to try and hit the Swordmasters and the Wolf Warriors with a quick charge. And then we're going to follow up in melee with my Royal Peltist. Again, this is going to be somewhat risky. But I feel like it's the best way to take the charge away from the Germanic units, which is going to be their main strength. Germanic scout riders are getting dealt with. Uh, my charge is now complete, so we did manage to tie down the enemy, so let's pull out. And it looks like the Germanic scout riders are going to try and engage my companion cavalry, so I'm just going to push them back for a second, let my javelins keep throwing. So, yep, that should effectively have stopped the charge of the Germanic units. We need to get rid of this Germanic tribesman. Don't skirmish and fire at who I tell you to. Uh, yep, right here, and keep firing. Okay, so I'm gonna go in to use the whip. I'm gonna war cry we can, drop the fear, intimidate the enemy general. Just do everything we can to tilt that battle in our favor. We need to get our supporting units in here, start mopping up enemy skirmishers. The Germanic scout riders have pretty much kicked the bucket. And we need to quickly get rear charges lined up. Good, we're drawing the enemy general out of that fight, actually. Okay, get through, get through. If the enemy skirmishers run away, I'm just gonna ignore them. Germanic scout riders are dying. Yep, here comes the rear charge we need. Again, we're just going to keep pulling away from the enemy general because it's a spear unit. Drive home another rear charge here. Time to cycle. Mercenary longbow hunters. Pull back here. Cycle back over into the sword masters. Okay. Let's 
go help finish these guys off. Looks like the rear charges are working, and we are <coughs> starting to soundly defeat the the Cambry and taking away their charge there really was going to be critical. Run down some of these routing troops, make sure they don't come back for seconds a turn later. Spear Levy are broken. We need another quick rear, uh, rear charge on the Swordmasters. That ought to be enough to knock them out. My Javelin Armed units successfully dealt with the enemy Skirmishers and the Swordmasters now shaken. Going to war cry it. Intimidate it to make sure it can't pop a headhunt. Okay, and Royal Peltus General. I'm gonna lose some Thorax swords here, unfortunately. And the enemy general is still chasing me around. It's a Woden Sphere. We're gonna need to get rid of these mercenary longbow hunters, but for now they're their presence isn't as threatening as some other units. An entire unit has perished. Let's get these guys out of here. Get the Royal Peltist in there. Put these guys in skirmish and fire at will. Just keep my cavalry away from the enemy. Woden has spears. Companion cavalry. Okay, so now the enemy units are going to start paying a pretty dear price. The battle is turning in our favor. Yep, so that was a pretty desperate fight, but we actually did manage to win it. Might want to get away from that Woden Spear there, geniuses. Okay, do I have any decently... Strong Thorax Swords. I do. I'm going to intercept this Woden S Spear and destroy it. And it looks like they're going to just keep chasing my Cav, which means they're going to get cleanly charged by my Thorax Swords, which is good because Woden S Spears actually do have a decent charge bonus. But they are just absolutely focused on my cavalry. My Agrianians getting some nice shots into the back of them. And here comes my companion Cav for the finisher. So it looks like as much as the uh, Barbarians tried, they were not able to overcome my Hellenic armies here. And they're just going to get broken and destroyed in a pretty pretty fantastic fashion there. So, the Cambry jerks. And again, if you sue for peace, there will be no peace this time. Okay, so here comes the few Bowie Eye reinforcements. Let's get my the enemy general is cavalry dead. ready. So the Woden S Spear General's down. Okay, got some of my cavalry coming back in. I'm gonna charge those Celtic warriors. And then go after the Oath Sworn. Yeah. Those Aspis Companion Cav are going to annihilate those few Oathsworn. And those uh, Celtic Warriors are now dead. I'm going to keep my Royal Pelts from killing my own men. Yeah, that Oathsworn General is going to get absolutely pooped on. If it goes into um, Headhunt, though, it's going to suck. Because it might keep it alive, but it looks like it's not going to get there. Oh, no, it's an Axe Warrior. I thought it was an Oathsworn. Yeah, it's going to get beat down even worse then. So, perfect. Excellent. Uh, fantastic kills for my cavalry there, and really nice performance for my other units as well. Getting rid of the Germanic Scout Riders from my Thurio Spears and Agranian Axemen was pretty clutch there. Actually, a very important piece of getting some victory. Uh oh, sounds like Little Air woke up from his nap too early. Okay, so all I lost was a Thorax Sword. That can be pretty easy to replace. It's gonna leave the Cambry reeling. And their other army is going to go after Uberzus again, so if they sack it, it's certainly not going to do any good. There's not much there left to sack. If they take it, I've got armies nearby that can counter them. Hopefully pike armies, to be honest, because those sword masters in that army are going to be kind of tricky to deal with. Eh, it looks like they just... No, they did take Uberzus. And it looks like they're going to use their agents to try and slow me down at Telefertum. But again, I've got other armies in the vicinity, and we, we should be able to get after them fairly well. 
We're going to be attacked again at Crete. I'm going to auto-resolve this since it's going to give me the victory. Probably better than actually fighting it. That was a whole bunch of transports from Cyprus. So definitely getting some nice work done here. Libya's still running all over the place. And then these rebels up by Tur, gonna try their best, but will not succeed. Perfect. All right. So, yep, looks like we've taken care of all, man, 12,000 talents to stop an adoption. Freaking hate you. Um, anyway, yeah, that, that will be all right. We had a bunch of talents, fortunately, and my, my income is going up rather rapidly. I am going to go ahead and save this game real quick just in case there's another crash because this will be a nice spot to pick back up from. And I think this episode will be a little bit short, but again, uh, just in case it crashes whenever I backstab these guys again, I want to make sure and actually finish this episode so that I'm not making it crash at the end of one and then wasting all my work. So again, a little bit short, but there'll be more to come soon. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.